continuing expanding actually the uh, attack steps when uh, somebody is trying to perpetrate a crime against you um, the the first step is of course identifying the target and we've already talked about the the difficulty of that um, in some cases some cases it's going to be fairly easy but they uh, you know want to know who you are now uh, very often these days um, attacks are sort of uh, shotgun at least initially and um, they will send out some kind of spam to try and get a reaction from somebody so once they've got a reaction from somebody then they have to start thinking about okay who have I in fact contacted um, what type of attack is going to work against them what type of uh, crime can I perpetrate against them what uh, type of advantage does it get me um, as to you know which type of crime I'm going to launch against them so um, you know all of this is is really part of the identification who who are you as a target uh, what resources do you have available to you um, what uh, you know how tough a nut are you going to be to crack um, how uh, you know are there is there a financial advantage is there a power advantage is there a resource advantage to attacking you is there something that you have or have access to that uh, by attacking you they can obtain um, also uh, you know how how tough are you how um, hard is it going to be to mount an attack against you um, what type of attack is likely to succeed against you um, I, I believe that I've mentioned that uh, a member of law enforcement said to me that law enforcement is in fact one of the easiest groups to social engineer because if you talk the right language you are part of law enforcement you are automatically trusted because it's very much a community that sees itself as us against the world and so if you uh, speak like an insider you are an insider um, it's a lot easier uh, to get law enforcement to trust you um, anyways there's you know there are a number of things uh, depending on the the type of institution is this a, a financial institution um, you know follow the money you uh, mount an attack promising uh, some kind of uh, inflated return on investment uh, is it uh, a, a charity and unfortunately charities are very often attacked uh, charities have access to money um, and uh, so you know maybe a sob story uh, is the starting point for the attack so you know who are you uh, determines what type of attack the uh, perpetrator is going to try and launch against you um, all of this all of this is going to be uh, part of identification and of course they're going to be collecting information while they are identifying you you know what uh, additional information can we we gain um, we have uh, in, in certain cases uh, started with a spam attack and, and we're doing some kind of spear phishing okay you know can we um, start to find out the the names of the people uh, that this person this individual works with um, can we start um, uh, finding out who this person's boss is if this person is the boss who are this person's direct reports and and people who will obey without question uh, when given an order um, and a number of issues um, in this in, in terms of collecting the information um, 
some of this is going to be uh, social. Uh, some of this is going to be technical. Um, map the the network. Um, do uh, you know good old trace route tools, the, the basic tools here that will tell us um, uh, you know what ports are open and used. Uh, the ports that are open uh, tends to tell us um, what is the um, uh, what kind of services are available. Um, uh, so, you know, we, we ping machines, do pin scanning, port scanning, um, fingerprint the, uh, the system, and uh, try and get as much information as we can. Um, part of this is identification. Part of this is, is the uh, further collection of information, um, uh, domain names, uh, network numbers, IP addresses, uh, but also, as I say, you know, the social uh, aspects here, uh, names and phone numbers of personnel. Um, uh, we've, you know, our, our port scanning and ping scanning and trace route gives us information about the uh, the network mapping the network what is the structure of the network um, how many nodes are we dealing with um, again you know what's the what's the resource um, uh, you know do they have a good network resource that the attacker can reuse to attack somebody else um, and uh, Again, looking at operating system types and versions, um, which gives us uh, two types of information. One is, uh, you know, what are the resources that we can obtain if we attack this uh, system or group, but also um, what are the likely vulnerabilities uh, that may succeed in a, a technical type of attack. So, uh, all of these uh, types of aspects that can be uh, are part of the, the initial stages of the attack.